Prayer Circle. It's time for Prayer Circle. And Prayer Circle is a time to bring the needs of different listeners before the Lord in prayer so that we can see Him answer. Please pray along with me. And Father, we thank you for this Friday morning heading into this first weekend of November, this month of Thanksgiving, of course, elections and uh, so many things on the table for us as individuals, as families, as a country, where we want to be thankful, first of all, today, Lord, for the way you have moved in our lives This last month, Lord, getting us ready for a new month. Lord, get us ready for this weekend. Time with family, friends, in church. Lord, just look for your divine appointments and to lift up the light of Jesus everywhere we go. Show us how to do that. Fill us afresh with your spirit. Lord, we thank you for this day and this weekend. We commit it to you. Of course, falling back this weekend, getting (laughs) an extra hour, too, uh, to get ready for church. Also, getting ready for the 30 days of prayer for our nation, getting close to November 5th, Lord. Today, our prayer is cleanse our nation of fear and hatred. And that is so prevalent, Lord. So much fear, so much hatred, so much rancor. Lord, we pray that this season can make a change. Politics would be in its proper place in our priorities. But so important, Lord, for people to to vote and to do what we can to pray for our country. Lord, help us to be people of a sound mind and not a fearful mind. Lord, a mind that lifts you up, knows that you all are ultimately in charge. Help us to communicate that to our, our family and our community. Of course, continuing to pray for Relief efforts, hurricane-ravaged areas of our southeast part of our country. Lord, just comfort families affected, help them to continue to rebuild. Always praying for peace in Jerusalem, peace in Ukraine. Also praying specifically, first of all, today for a woman lost her husband several years ago, still grieving this. Of course, as we head into holidays, a lot of grief comes up. We pray you'd continue to comfort her heart and help her to move forward with what you have for her. Also, uh, a family in conflict, grown kids fighting. Lord, you know what's causing this. We pray for peace. Show mom, show the parents how to calm things down, how to appeal to their better natures. Lord, and just pray for peace in this family. Also, uh, a woman struggling with health issues, looking for affordable housing as well. Lord, we pray that you would meet these needs. Health, Lord, you know what's happening. We pray for healing and for you to guide her into the right kind of housing situation. Also, a mom praying for her daughter and grandchild. They're homeless. Emotional, family support needed. Lord, we pray for grace for this uh, daughter and her grandchild. Not sure what has caused this. Lord, we just pray for forgiveness and reconciliation, not judgment in their situation, but Lord, to uh, help. And also uh, another woman who lost her husband. 33 years of marriage. Her children need the Lord. She needs direction now for her life. Lord, we pray that she would guide her, comfort her, As again, we head into the holidays, these losses are difficult. Lord, we pray you'd show her how to be stable and strong for you. And also praying for a granddaughter who has a heart defect. And Lord, we just pray for stability for her, healing. Lord, you know this child, we pray that... uh, She maybe won't need a heart transplant, but uh, that you'd heal her heart. Whatever the diagnosis and prognosis, we pray for your your wisdom there for those treating her. And also a person living alone, highly depressed, looking for encouragement. Lord, you know this person, we pray that you'd comfort their heart and they'd know that you love them. And we pray for others around this person to reach out. And we ask for all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.